Welcome! In this example, I want to show you how to find the intersection of two curves using your TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator. So in my example, I have basically two equations that I want to graph in the calculator and see where they cross. Now remember when using a graphing calculator that it must be set up in the right form. This means that we must have it set equal to y. Well, my second equation is going to work out just fine since it has y equals. Well, my first one, well, I need to do a little bit of work on that one in order to get it ready for the calculator. So for that one, I need to solve it for y. Let's go ahead and take it and see what we can do. To get y all alone, I'll start by subtracting a 3x from both sides. There we go. And then finally, to get it completely all alone, let's divide everything by 4. There, so this will give us y is equal to a negative 3x plus 12, all divided by 4. It means when I go to enter this in my calculator, I'll use this as one of my equations. All right. Well, now that we have them both set up very nicely, let's go ahead and grab that calculator and see how it works. All right, so the first thing we need to do is get both these equations into the calculator. So go ahead and press your y equals. So I'll type in the first one. 1.5 times the natural log of x minus 1, there we go. And the second one, to make sure all of this ends up on the top, I'm going to put that in parentheses. So minus 3x plus 12, all of that's in parentheses, then divide by 4. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph you'll notice that my window goes from negative 10 to 10 on the x's and from negative to 10 to 10 on the y's. So here I have that curve from the logarithm and then the line from this equation. And I can definitely see that they cross, but it's really hard to tell where they cross. Well, no worries, we're going to have the calculator find it for us. I'm going to press second and then calc. And select option number five, which says intersect. Enter. Now, if you move your little um, arrows over, your little blinking cursor shows up on one of the curves. Right now, it's on my little logarithm right here. Well, just as long as it's on one of the curves, go ahead and press Enter. Now, it immediately jumps to the other curve. In this case, now it's on my line. Okay, press Enter one more time. This basically just tells the calculator what two curves to use and find where they cross. Now the last thing we want to find, it says guess. So move this little blinking cursor as close to where they cross as you can, and then press enter one last time. The calculator will go through its methods and actually come up with a value for x and y. Now most of the time we probably want to round these, um, so I'm going to round this to like 2.812 and 0 0.89, say 1. There we go. So this gives me the x and the y coordinates of where the two equations cross. Now you can do this with other equations and the process is exactly the same. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.